The Florida Panthers have been a really good team pretty much all season. Yes, they had that four-game losing streak a couple of weeks ago, but that was coming off a nine-game winning streak. And apart from that minor blip, they've been super consistent, and it's led them to being fourth in the entire league right now. Bobrovsky's followed up his magic playoff run last year by just being stable and solid in the Panthers' net this year. Barkov's just been Barkov offensively and defensively. Panther fans definitely aren't worried about him. Verhage's having another great year. That guy's a superstar, man. More people need to talk about that. Ekman Larson's been a solid pickup for that team after the Vancouver buyout. Also, Brennan Montour coming back from injury has been huge for them. We know how great he was in the playoffs last year. Paul Maurice continues to be one of the best coaches in the entire league. And the big one, Sam Reinhart. Yeah, who saw this coming? I mean, people knew he's a good player. Dude got drafted second overall. But all those years in Buffalo, and even the first few in Florida, we thought he showed us what he he was, right? He can give you 25 to 35 goals. He's a good player. Who saw him getting 36 goals before February? That's nuts, man. The guy can't stop scoring. He's on pace for 62. And I'm sure you'll notice, after rattling off all those names, there's a really big one, maybe the biggest one, that I intentionally left out, and it's because we're going to dive deeper on his season. Matthew Kachuk had another two points last night in a 3-2 overtime win over the Islanders. He's now got nine points in his last five games, and he's second in Panthers scoring with 51. On his assist, the Panthers are on the power play. Verhege gets the puck along the boards. He rims it behind the goal line where he knows Kachuk is going to be. And this is a cool set play they're able to run because Kachuk processes and executes plays at such a high speed. To go backhand, forehand, no look right in Reinhardt's wheelhouse there is not easy. Kachuk's not even looking here at Reinhardt or the defender to see if he's closed the lane down. You know how people talk about a goal scorer's goal? That was a playmaker's play. Then for his goal, just a classic Kachuk tip. Gets just a little piece of it, just enough to send it 5-hole on Varlamov. There you go, like I said, Kachuk's got 51 points, he's over a point a game now. But the reason I wanted to talk about this is because Kachuk did not have a very Kachuk-like start to the season. He just didn't look like himself. He didn't look quite right. He wasn't playing horrible, but he certainly didn't look like the same Kachuk who put up 104 points last year and had that crazy good playoff run. Exactly a month ago, he had 24 points in 34 games, only 5 goals. He was on pace for under 55 points. I don't think Panther fans were concerned, but it was definitely one of those things where he was like, what's up with Kachuk? My theory? It was the injury. You know the one. The big Keegan Colasar layout that resulted in a broken sternum. It had him in a sling for a good chunk of the summer. I know he was ready to play for the start of the season, and he and the team were saying he was fully 100% by that point, but the truth of the matter is, when you go through an injury that intense, like remember hearing him talk about how Brady needed to help him get out of bed in the morning, and guys had to tie his skates for him? Like, he was just cooked, man. And that also resulted in him missing a huge chunk of off-season training, so I think that's why he looked off to start the season. And still the Panthers were able to thrive, while Kachuk was still trying to hit his stride there. That's the biggest sign of a good team, man, when you're not overly dependent on one or two guys. But now the way Kachuk's playing, he seems like he's truly 100% again, and that's awful news for the rest of the NHL. Last year in the playoffs, the Panthers definitely got some nice contributions from guys like Verhage, Bennett, Reinhardt, Barkov, and Montour, but Kachuk and Bobrovsky were definitely the two who led the way. This year's team seems a lot more balanced and a lot more versatile, like they can beat you in a lot of different ways. The one thing that hadn't been up to par was the play of Kachuk. So now that he actually seems to be 100% and is playing like we know Kachuk can play, that to me is really when all the other teams in the league should be groaning like, oh no. That was the one missing ingredient. Now that Kachuk's feeling it, he's got that confidence high again, and he actually seems to be fully recovered from that injury, now the Panthers are a true top-tier Stanley Cup threat. I still think they can be good and win a few rounds with the Kachuk they had to start the season, but if they want to win the whole thing and walk around Sawgrass Mills with it, they need this Kachuk. Let me know your thoughts. Press like if you want more Panthers videos. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you in the next one. You're awesome.